What's up? It's Mr. Tony. Sir. How far have you gone with Gina's mother case? Oh, sir, I think we're ready to go to court. Uh, we have something to prove that Eric killed Gina. Oh, that's good. Her parents are on my neck. So, we have to prepare to go to court by next week Monday. Make all the necessary arrangements and documentation. I need them submitted to me. I need them in two days. Permission to follow, sir. Permission granted. I was told you wanted to see me. Yes, sir. I'm listening. Sir. Sir, you are the only one that can help me. I don't have any other person to fight for me. I don't have money for case, to pay lawyer. I don't, I don't have... I don't have money to prove my innocence. You're the only one that can help me. Please, I'm innocent. I didn't kill Gina. I'm not a murderer. I cannot kill. I don't have that kind of heart. Please. 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 All I'm trying to say is let's, let's do proper investigation. It's not just me. The culprit could be out there and you punishing me for nothing. So how did it go? No locks at all. All the bank details has been changed. I didn't get anything at all. I just wasted my whole time. Damn. Damn. What kind of ill luck is this? You mean you could not get hold of any of the accounts? What local and international? Did you not hear what I just said? Are you, are, are you deaf or something? If I get out of my car. Get out of my car! Frank? Are you asking me out of your car? Are you deaf? Or have you acquired some sort of deaf... What? Look, leave my car. Stop acting. I'll push you out of this car! Leave my car right now! Get out!
What else will he say? According to him, Eric is still the prime suspect. He advised we get a reasonable amount of money to get him a good lawyer. Are you serious? Getting him a good lawyer will help him come out? Not really. It's 50 50 old. Oh. But then, getting him a good lawyer will help his situation. If not get him out of the case, at least help reduce his sentence. It's a better option now. Eh? It's okay. The God will serve with them to take him. I think we have to take the officer in charge at that, but getting him a good lawyer. How do you do My sister is the money. Where are we going to get that kind of money? Eh? We can barely afford to feed in this house. Talk of getting him a good lawyer. If not for Unnamdi, I don't even know how we'll survive. Talking about Unnamdi, I think I need to see him. Really? Yes, I really need to see him. Okay. It's okay. Everything will be fine, okay? Baby, 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 yes. why is your face like this? Uh, what are you thinking about? Honey. How can I be happy when an innocent man is being accused of something he knows nothing about? And the police wants to kill him over something he never did. When the real killer is out there walking freely, he might even be in one beer parlor now, taking one or two bottles. Ha, huh, Eric. Baby, I understand how you feel. I understand how much Eric means to you. We are all sad with the same issue. But we don't have to continue like this. We have to find a solution to it. So tell me, what is the way forward? What do you think we should do? I think we have to take the advice of the officer in charge of his case. We have to get a good lawyer for him. I think that's the best for now. Honey, we don't have money. Where do we get this money from? Eh? You and I know we have something very important to do with money. Honey, all the money I have now, I want them out for a big day. There is no money left on me. I don't have money again. Baby, do you love and trust me? Yes, of course. You know I do. Okay. Anything I ask you to do for me, you will do it. Yes, I will do it. And what is it? Baby, I want you to use the money for our wedding and get a good lawyer for him. Yes, his life is more important here. Our big day can wait. Please, you know he's supposed to be your best man. And the ceremony will not be complete without him. Please, I want you to do it for him. Please, baby. Hi. Honey, you can't cease to amaze me. You are such a good girl with a heart of gold. <sighs> Honey, for this, eh, I will love you forever. I will love you. I love thank you, you so too. much. Ah, thank you so much. person to fight for me. I don't have money for case to pay lawyer. I don't, I don't have I don't have money to prove my innocence. You're the only one that can help me. Please 
I'm innocent. I didn't kill Gina. I'm not a murderer. I cannot kill. I don't have that kind of heart. Please. What have I gotten myself into? Yeah. This is 12 midnight. A man that said he's responsible is not back to his own house. My goodness. God knows if he's not Engage with one of all those stupid girls out there. No, Tony. Tony, you will not kill me in this house. God, you know that. I, can, I, can, I can't take this anymore. It's becoming too much. It's becoming too much for me, for crying out loud. Why can't I enjoy my own husband? Goodness. Don't, don't, don't come close to me. Just hold it to yourself. Please, please, please. Who the hell do you think you are? Hey, Tony. I'm asking you. Please, I had a very rough day, very hectic one. All I need now is just for you to some warm water for me and get my food. Please, please, I beg you. Really? All I have to do is just go in there, put food for you to eat. No. Go back there. Tell one of all those stupid girls you've been de dealing with out there to give you food. Okay? Look at the time. I beg you in the name of anything you hold dear to your heart. Today is a very good day. Hmm? I have a lot going on in my head already. Please. Please. <laughs> let me have peace. I don't want to unleash this anger inside of me on you. I'm begging you. Please. Take care of the house. Oh, and have hey, a good day. What did you just say? Please. Unleash. Hey, Mr. Michael, come back. Where do you think you're going? Eh? Come and unleash your stupid anger on me. What is wrong with you? I'm used to it. Yes! I'm used to it! What else can you do? Hmm? What else can you do? Stupid man! Look at you! Hey, at times I regret ever getting married to a stupid man like you. Oh Jesus Christ! See, listen Tony, you aren't going anywhere! Today, we die here! Nonsense! <laughs> Where are you going to? What did you just say? Hi, Pamela. Pamela, it's a I have suffered. I wish I wish I was a When did you start asking me where I go to or how I do in this house? Tell me. 
Listen, I don't have your time today. I don't have time for your troubles. Hmm? Anyways, just let me be in peace, alright? I ask you again, where are you going to? Listen to me. It's none of your business. You got that? Pamela. Open this door. Don't. What kind of stupid question is that? My friend, open this door. Uh. It's, it's your Tony. Tony is your wife. Better open this door now. Okay, my wife. Hey. I'm sorry I cannot open that door. So you better go back to where you're from. I remember the day I was asking you, where were you going to and you ignored me? So I am telling you now to go back to wherever you are coming from. Don't knock on that case in I am not there. Listen, Tony. I don't have time for porridge tonight. Please, open this door. Eh? Mommy, I am begging you to go back to wherever you are coming from. Don't knock there again. Don't knock there again. Good night. Tony. Tony, please now. Eh? It hasn't got to this. Tony, I'm sorry now. Eh? Please. Tony. Tony. Tony, please. Open the door, please. Eh? Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I, 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 I have to explain. Okay, you are still my husband. Honey. Are you guys there now? Okay, okay, hold on. Stay with him. I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there in 15 minutes. Yes, okay, all right. Thank you. Tony, please. Any money? Pamela, please. Not now. I have an emergency. Why are you opening your palms as if something is wrong? Huh? Ah, Peggy. Just the money. 100,000. Not too much. I mean, you just heard I have an emergency from work. Complain up loud. I have asked for this 100,000 since three days now. What is it? 100,000 naira. What is it? Working. Day in, day out. Always working. So, why is 100,000 naira so big for you to give to your wife? Eh, Mr. Tony? Inspector Tony? Eh? Pamela. Pamela, please. I need to go to work now. I have an emergency. Alright. Me too. I have an emergency. That's why I'm asking for the man. Yes, sir. So. All of us have emergencies we are waiting for. So, what is wrong about that? Eh? Monster, because they can listen to when you're Ah! What is it now? Stop mentioning my name as if something is wrong. Has your father ever given your mother up to 100,000 like this? But even. Who in your family, from all your brothers, can afford 100,000 naira now in a minute? Of course, you know how I was when you got married to Yes! Lenum, you have to get it. You have tried it. Trouble everywhere. You want the numbers to know that I am asking for money. Okay, Tony, give me 100,000 naira just for upkeep. Yes! Me, Mom, Pamela, what is wrong with you? You are the one wrong with me. Yes, you are! Tony, you are. So fast. We are drying up in this house. Who is it? Um, Tony! Tony is a liar! You must give me that one today! Ah! Pamela! If you try me again! If you try me again! Eh? 
Tony, Tony, I swear to God, I swear to God, you must give me that one today. You must. I will show you that it is not that this is that it's a body in a job. Now, from the report we gathered, some of the neighbors that were around when this thing happened said you had a hot and heated argument with her. You got so angry and you were so, so bad in a very bad situation and I decided to end her up. I did not kill my wife. I love my wife. I love my wife so much and yes, we had an argument that day. We had a fight that afternoon, that same afternoon we had an argument. But I wouldn't be so wicked to kill my wife. I love my wife and I wouldn't kill her for anything. Do you watch African Magic? Or some of those there are retro films? In some of those retro films, you find out that those people they kill are people they love. So when you say you love your wife, it doesn't add up. Okay. Now, let me make it very easy for you. So that you won't be too blind to see. It is quite okay that it wasn't intentional. But she got you so angry, so annoyed, that you knocked her. Steve, I did not kill my wife. You know me very well. I did not kill my wife. I did not kill my wife. For God's sake, no. I never. When it comes to security, when it comes to this kind of investigation, you don't need to talk about innocence. Oh, gee. 